all new tonight, there's a trove of historical attractions in Southeast Michigan. Photojournalist Paul Kwapik takes us to one of them, the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, to see history from the lens of that iconic attraction. Oh my gosh, so the village actually really encompasses 300 years of American history. It is a huge um, kind of in, indoor-outdoor complex. This is also the very first house that Thomas Edison lit with electric lights. Wired today the same as it was in 1879, it's very different from our houses. All of the wires are outside of the walls, not recessed within. The Model T's and the train are a great way to really see um, the village as a whole. And of course, learn a little bit about you know transportation. I'm Calvin Wood, caterer and owner of the Eagle Tavern. This is our current bill of fare. When you walk inside these doors, we transport you back to 1850. So most of our buildings are staffed with historic presenters who are just masters at their craft. They've really studied this content and are able to bring these stories alive to anyone who walks into their site. People come here, they haven't seen each other for a long time, but their farms are really far apart. You can maybe see something or someone that you haven't seen in a long time and catch up on what's going on in town. Now we just sat in this really cool car. Which was made in? 1917, mm -hmm. in Toledo, Ohio. So the museum is really great because it focuses a lot on American innovation. So we have some incredible artifacts, of course, like the, the DC-3, um, but we also have um, a lot of meaningful content as well, like the Rosa Parks bus, the Lincoln chair, the Kennedy limousine. Um, so they're really, we're, we get um, kind of boxed into car museums, I think, sometimes, and we're really so much more than that. There are cars here, but there's so much more to come and, and see and learn about. It is way more cool than you think it is. So here in the museum, we actually also have uh, dinosaurs, kinetic sculptures of dinosaurs. And there are a series of um, pulleys that you can operate and really make these uh, statues come alive and kind of imagine, you know, how these uh, dinosaurs would have moved. It's a great hands-on activity. It's a it's great for for little ones, and then of course for you know at, people of any age who may want to learn something a little bit more. <laughs> playing 1860s baseball here at the village today. Um, bare hands, uh, you can't overrun first base. Um, we're using wood bats. It's uh, underhand pitching and it goes anywhere from like a softball style to more of a flat pitch. Oh, always playing to win. You play to win the game. It's a great place to learn. It's a wonderful way to um, to get outside as well if you like to take a, a stroll outside. But if the weather's you know a little too hot for you, or if it's rainy, we've got things coming in. Um, we've got things inside for you to come and see as well. Um, there is just so much history and innovation, and just really spectacular um, artifacts here to to see and learn about. Thank you. 